even though there's a mitzvah to have the whole year, but there's a specifically this time, this time we have the same for three weeks, between Shabbos and Tammuz, and Tisha B'Av, 22 days in Ashur, in one place makes that this 22 days, he said like this, Sancheinu ki moisi nisam. There's 22 days in Tishrei, which are Yemei Asimcha, the days of building, after a person does chuva from, from Rosh Hashanah till Kof Aleph is Hashanah Rabba, Kof Beis is Sintas So those day, days of the beginning of Kohen Israel and the corresponding to these days of Simcha, we have 22 days, also 22 days, because from Shabbos to the Tamas with Tisha B'Av together, it's not three weeks, it's 22 days exactly. In other words, Tisha B'Av, which were this abode on the, uh, on, on the destruction of the temple, that's corresponding to Shmini Atzeres to Sintas Teru. And this abode on Yerushalayim, if somebody mourns on Yerushalayim, Zaycha Veloye Besimchoto. The other side of the coin of the mourning on Tisha B'av is the Simcha of the Teira on Shmini Atzeres. These two days have a relationship together, Tisha B'av and Shmini Atzeres. But I want to explain this. What, is, what does it mean to mourn on something that happened 2,000 years ago? What is the definition of mourning on the destruction of the temple? So I want, want to begin, let's begin with a Gemara. A Gemara in Menachas Tachnin Yimu. The Gemara says like this, Yovoi Yedid. What is a Yedid? A good friend. Yedid, says its volume, Yedid is a combination. When you want to express friendship, so what do you do? You have a handshake, right? A handshake is an expression of friendship. What's a handshake? My hand yeah. joins the yadi. The other yadi. That's the word Yedid. Yedid is Yad. Yad. Yad, yad. It's a handshake. The person who's a Yadid means he's handshaking the other one. He's, he's, what does this symbolize, the handshake? That you're united. You're, you're united together. He's united. Yova Yadid. I'm Yisrael Abi Yadidim of the Rebbeinu Shalom. Let's begin. I'm going to take the, before the Gemara. Let's begin. Who, in whose chalek, in whose, ch- in whose portion was the Beis HaMikdash? In Binyamin. And so it says in Pashas in the Bracha of Moshe Rabbeinu to Binyamin, Binyamin Yedid Hashem. Binyamin is called the Yedid of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ubeid Seifok Shofen. The base on, on, on his shoulders is that Yerushalayim and his portion was Shoreh, constantly rested the Shechina. Binyamin Yedid Hashem. It says now, the Gemara says like this, Yovo Yedid. Let Kam be Yedid. Who's the Yedid? Shloim HaMelech. Dixiv. Vayishlach v'yad nosan ha-novi vayikro shmo yedidyo. HaKadosh Baruch Hu sent through nosan ha-novi and he gave another name to Shloim HaMelech. He called Shloim HaMelech yedidyo. What's yedidyo? Yedid ko. He's united with the Rebbein Shloim. Shloim HaMelech loves Hashem and Hashem loves him. Where do we see that Shloim HaMelech loved Hashem? Because the way, we spoke about this once already before, the way to love Hashem is to love his Torah. If you remember how much Shleim HaMelech merited to become king, Hashem asked him in a dream. What did he ask him? He said, I give you a choice of enormous riches or Chachma. Which one will you choose? You know, when you're up, so you can say, all right, I remember the Musa Shmuz, right? The Torah is more important than Mamas. But when you're asleep, the natural forces of the person take effect. It's the biological natural forces, the instinctive forces. Chachma is something you have to train yourself, but it's not in the instinct. When you're sleeping, it goes back to the instinct. There's no censorship of the Yetzirah and the Yetzirah. The Yetzirah has rulership. Dreams are without c- certain censorship. And Shloim HaMelech in his dream, that means the depth of the love of wisdom and the love of Torah is the love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He chose Chachma and not the riches. Said in the if you leave him in a dream, you choose wisdom. That means he really loves me. I give you both. But that's in the dream. That's the point you chose it. So that's to love Hashem, because the love of Hashem is through the love of His faith, the love of His wisdom. So Shleimah Melech has loved Hashem, and love is always 
the mind on and on. Love always goes in two directions. If you reflect your heart, love towards another one, the other one returns to you. It's always, always reflected. Love always goes in both directions. So he loved Hashem, so Hashem sent him, he did call him, he did call him, the friends, and he's a friend of the Rebunish. So Shloim HaMelech is the Yedid Hashem, and what does he do? Ben Yedid. Who's Ben Yedid? There's two, 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 the Yesois and the Gemara. Zeh Avram. Avram is called the Yedid Hashem. Why is Avram called? Because it says also in the Pasuk, Avram Ayyavi. Who was the first one to make everybody recognize Hashem in the world? Avram Avinu. After everybody was doing idol worship. Mali Yedidi Bebeisi. The Yivne Yedid. And let the, let the Yedid, the son of the Yedid, Shloim Amelech, the son of Avram Avinu, let him build Yedid. What's Yedid? The Beis HaMikdash. The Beis HaMikdash is called Yedid. It's also Yedid. Where do we see it? Because it says in Tillin, Ma Yedidus Mishkan Isaich. The Mishkan Hashem is called Yedidus. It's an expression of Yedidus of the Kodesh Vok of the Klai Yisrael. The whole Mishkan is called Yedid. It's friendship. The Yedid, Zeh HaKadosh Baruch Hu is called Yedid. Shedich Siv, another Pasuk, Ashir Adal Yedidi. Bechel Koshel Yedid. Where is the the Beis HaMikdash? And the Chelek of Yedid. In whose Chelek in Binyamin, that Binyamin is called Yedin Hashem. Yedid Hashem Yishkan Levetach Alon. The Yishakru Ba Yedidim. And in the Beis HaMikdash, the sins of Klai Yisrael were atoned. The, and Am Yisrael is called Yedidim. Where do we see that Am Yisrael is called Yedidim? Notati et Yedidis Nakshi Bekaf Oiva, which is an unbelievable pasuk to bring to, that Am Yisrael is called Yedidim. If there is here a Seyfid in Yohu, there is a Yohu. Notati et Yedidis Nakshi Bekaf Oiva. Which chapter? Perak Yud Beis Pasuk Zayin. They're learning it in Yeshiva. Yes? Yovoi toy anyway, Zel. So we see here if you lose a good friend, you have pain. And if you don't have pain, it means it wasn't such a good friend. So in different words, Avelus Amchurdum Beis Amikdash means in Hebrew there's a word, I don't know the translation of this word. There's a tra- word called Gaguim. Longing. Oh, thank you. Very good. Longing. You miss somebody. Like a child goes away from home, he misses the warmth of his home. He has, he's homesick. The kids are the good avelus and father and base is is to be homesick for the warmth and friendship of the rebellion. That's what it is. The Adidas of the burial. And where do we see this? Let's go. We have oh, this is what I want to talk about for a minute. But it's both who speaks about it. In Yohu Perik Yud Beis, the Gemara brings here a proof that Am Yisrael is called the Adidim of Hashem. This is what it says over here. Rebbeinu Shalom says, "Azavti is Beisi. I left my house. Notashti is Nachlosi. I left my Nachlo that's Klal Yisrael. Notati et Yedidus Nafshi. You did Nefesh. You have a close friend. You did Nefesh." Yedidus Nafshi. Who's Yedidus Nafshi? Who's Yedidus Nefesh of the Rebbeinu Shloilam? Klal Yisrael. Natati et Yedidus Nafshi bekaf oivevo. What kind of a friend is that? I still think that that's friendship. <laughs> I put my best friend at the palm of his enemies. The Rebbeinu Shloilam can imagine what kind of tsar the Rebbeinu Shloilam had that he had to force Am Yisrael to go into Golis. He's called Loch of Mishpat. And that means that that's that's that means that that's the Tehisi, because of the Chatoyim, that's Tobatam. That's their best, that's the best he can do for them. Now, that is unbelievable. The, the Pasuk, Bo Goy Nachlo Secha, Mizmo. Now, that is the Pasuk that the Gemara brings as a proof that Klau Yisrael is called the Yedidim of the Rebbein Shloim. The Pasuk is speaking about this and the opposite. Now, that is a Yedidus Nafshi Bekatoyver. But why did the Rebbein Shloim? put Klai Yisrael into the hands of their enemies. Continues the process.